Hi guys, I'm about to quickly run out and run my errands. I'm not gonna wear much makeup. Just like a little bit of flawless filter and probably some lip liner. So tonight I am going into the city for my friend Remy's birthday. I've been home for a few days uh, with my boyfriend. He came back with me home after his tennis tournament and we've just been hanging out. Had quite a bit of work to do so I've been doing that. It is so nice to be home. I've been riding every day. I also put on fake tan earlier. I've actually been so tan recently. This is the first time that I have put on fake tan. I think the last time I put on fake tan. I don't know, months, like a month. Cause I do normally fake tan in the winter a lot. When I had an apartment in New York, I didn't find myself being that excited to come back home. But now I do get really excited to come back home. And it's just like so nice to have my own house and my own space. The tournament in Indian Wells was really great, but it's been really cool to add to my content um, kind of showing you guys a little bit about tennis. It's also been really cool to date someone who's so supportive of my career and I'm so supportive of his and we really like meet each other in the middle on that. Guys, I'm just editing this and the thing that's like on my neck is not poorly blended contour. <laughs> it's fake tan. It's like I fake tanned my neck and my whole body so that's like that thing on my neck as I'm watching it, editing it like oh my god. But yeah, love you guys. Like I do sacrifice to travel with him and to be with him, but I still really do have like my own thing, my own work. So I'm going to get my hair blown out, have my fake tan on. The theme of the party tonight is denim and diamonds. My outfit is not here that I was gonna wear, which is a bummer because I didn't know what I was gonna wear, but I'm gonna put something together because I have so much denim. I really don't have an excuse. But I also went to Michael's and I got some rhinestones and a glue gun. I'm gonna try to figure something out. And my best friend, Amanda, from my hometown, is coming with me to the party. She's also friends with Remy, so she's gonna come with me. I booked a car service to bring us into the city and then drive us back. I normally would book a hotel room for something like this, like for a birthday party and just spend the night in the city, but, but I have a lot to do here and I'm gonna ride tomorrow morning, so I thought I would just like go and come right back. I do not live that far from New York City. I'm just gonna put on like a sweatpants set to go get my hair done so my fake tan doesn't get messed up. Okay guys, I put on one of my old, it's actually not that old, last summer, Jerry Girl Summer sweat sets. These are literally the most comfortable sweat set. I'm probably not going to be launching these again. I'm actually doing like a whole brand refresh, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. Probably going to do another video maybe all about that and like the new designers that we're working with. And They're the softest, most comfortable like vibe. They're just not like elevated. They're more just like a cozy, comfy sort of vibe. Maybe I'll bring them back because I do love them so much. I've launched four different versions of this sweatshirt and sweatpants dairy girl dairy boy dairy girl summer and then the second dairy girl summer and they're so good but i'm gonna go run and get my hair done right now i don't know what i want to do yet i think i want to do like big curls which i would like never do i don't really love a super curly look on me but i think i'm gonna do that because it's denim and diamonds and i kind of want to be like a little over the top <laughs> Okay, my hair is really, really curly right now, but I told them to not brush out the curls so it would last. Okay, I just wanna organize my living room before I start getting ready. I got a bunch of PR that I shared on my Instagram. Also, didn't share this, I got this Peter Thomas Roth sunscreen, these safely diffusers, this weighted blanket, this stuff from Cupshe, Caudalie, Caudalie, I don't know how to say it, I'm really sorry, but it, they make really, really good products. It's a French skincare brand. Then I got this new perfume from this brand, big box from MAC, this is from Refi Beauty, shit's like everywhere now. MAC also sent me this camera that I think I'm going to bring to the party tonight. Some stuff from Valentino by Josie Terrain sent me this book, my favorite home store. The Miami Open sent me this really cute package. Um, the tournament is next week. I'm so excited. But they sent me this really cute package and it got caught out on the rain. But it was so cute. 
Amazon influencer program sent me this spring PR package. I like give a lot of this stuff to my parents because they send so much stuff, but like this stuff is really cute and I really want to try this arrow garden. And then just walking over to my office, have a few more packages. This is my stuff from Urban Outfitters. I'm shooting an ad for Urban. So this is my big PR dresser full of beauty products and things that I get in gifting that I don't need like immediately. Um, but got a ton of stuff while I was gone. Olivia puts a lot of it in here once I get it when I'm gone. Brand Naked Sundays, Bloom sent a PR package. A lot of really good stuff. Mankey's here. You do not look like Lord of Farquaad. Ooh, giving, ooh. We also have this like hang up section of my office that we put, ooh, love. Love, love, love. This hang up section that we put all my gifting that I get here, like clothes. I need to move this, oh. Okay, well that didn't work out well. And this is our new Dairy Boy candle. It's really backlit right now, but we we're still figuring out the label design. We have five designs that were mocked up by my designer and we're deciding on the label soon. I will let you guys know on a launch date, but it smells so good. I know that you guys are gonna love it. I just got another package from Urban. Ooh, what is this? Okay, my mom just told me that I had to open this. Mom, is this from you? Is this from you? Oh, I know what this is. My mom got me this stuffed animal from China for my birthday and she thought it was like a life-size massive one and it came and it was like really small. Got me. One of the huge ones. Oh my god. Wait, it's so cute, mom. It is. It's a giving pregnancy pillow. Love it. Urban must have collabed with this hair care brand because they just sent a bunch of hair stuff. I didn't get many packages today. I've been wanting these for so long. Hell yeah. Okay, I am back in my bathroom. Amanda's showering right now, then I'm gonna shower off the fake tan that I have on, and then we're gonna get ready. Okay guys, I don't have a shower cap, so I feel like this is gonna work. Honestly, I'm gonna start doing this more. I'm insane. I'm fucking hurt, like bad. I had a great night last night. Just too many tequila shots. Honestly guys, I don't drink that much anymore. Sorry, I gotta back out of here. It's a bit of a struggle. Anyways, yeah, I don't drink much anymore. Um, I used to drink honestly a lot and the older I've gotten, I feel like the less my body has been able to like, my body just reacts really, really poorly to alcohol. Also, I'm sorry, I'm vlogging right now on my phone because I'm having problems with my camera. The battery pack isn't working anymore. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my camera's always dying. And to the level that like, I, I mean, I probably like should charge my camera more, but it's to the point where like, I think it's a camera battery problem, not a me problem. Anyways, I'm heading to the barn and I'm gonna go ride Louie. We were up really fucking late last night. Um, and we got him at like three and then I like ate so much food. Like everything in the house. Woke up with horrible anxiety. I felt like I was dying, but I really want to quit drinking guys. And I hate coming on my socials being like, I'm quitting because then if someone sees me with a drink, they're like, oh, you're a fucking hypocrite. And then I'm like, oh, okay. Well, 
There's like no room for that on social media. Because people are fucking crazy. Anyways, um, I'm really interested in quitting. The older I've gotten, uh, the more that I don't like myself when I drink. And besides being like a little bit wild, but like I'm always kind of like that. Like I've never not been like a little bit of a loose unit. But I just like don't fucking like it. I get such bad anxiety and I don't like it. And my body just like, I swear to God, my body just like does not mix well with it. Um, and the anxiety is not worth it anymore. And I don't even have anything to be anxious about right now. Life is fucking good. Life is really good. Um, hope you guys are doing well. I'm really excited to see Louie. My dad has not met my horse yet, so that's exciting. He's coming down to meet Louie and hang out with me. It is fucking freezing today. Um, this is my little shed. Um, keep all my stuff in here. Nothing fancy, but I love it. That's the job. Guys, it is like so cold. I'm wearing two jackets. All right, I usually get to the barn. I go and get him, and then I brush him and love on him. Hey! for a little bit and then I will lunge him and then I will ride him and yeah and now first I take this curry brush go in circles just to like get the dirt off him Okay, I've started to unpack my closet room. I'm filming on my phone still because my camera is just totally not working and the batteries are not working. So I actually think we're gonna go to Best Buy now and go get a new camera and then finish organizing the house. Guys, you know, when you're so cold that no matter what, you can't warm up, that's me right now. I feel like the only chance of me warming up is taking a shower. And I have stuff to do, so I'm just gonna have to deal. I don't know what this vlog is gonna be. Probably just like a casual at home vlog. I used to not want to upload YouTube videos unless like they were really, you know, like full of content and like, for example, like my Indian Wells vlog, um, where there was just like a lot of outfits, a lot of stuff going on. And I didn't want to vlog just like the everyday mundane stuff that might not be as interesting. Um, but I think that that's actually not true. I think that like the chill vlogs and just casual stuff are also important. The Indian Wells ones are important, but these are also important. So I'm gonna try to get into the routine of like vlogging more. Also guys, I talked about this on my last YouTube video. I was like, guys, I'm over TikTok. I'm just fucking over it. But like I continue to post on it, so. Like, what if I deleted TikTok? I was thinking about that. I know I've gained some like awesome followers from TikTok. I guess I also make money off TikTok, so I probably like shouldn't stop. Or I should delete the app. I just feel like the people who follow me on YouTube like really know me. I don't think that after what, if you watch my YouTube videos, you would have like the wrong impression of me. Whereas like, you don't really get to know me at all on TikTok. Like it's like 30 seconds and you just have no clue what type of person I am or who I am or what my story is and all that. So it's just like a little shallow. It's a little shallow and like I said, like very clickbait y I also think it's really interesting how views and followers and all that doesn't really like translate to Instagram or YouTube. Like you can't really leverage many people from TikTok to your other platforms, which is really interesting. And I don't really know why, but I'm like kind of hoping, this is horrible, but like I'm kind of hoping that the TikTok ban 
actually happen so I don't have to have that platform. Like, I think there are too many platforms. But my mom and I are going to run to Best Buy. And I just ordered a salad from Terrain, which is my favorite store and my favorite restaurant. These pink Birkenstocks are, like, literally the best thing ever. And they have fur in them. Okay, while well, I'm waiting for my food, I got one of the really fancy ice machines. If you remember my Andy and Wells vlog, there was like this really nice ice and I ordered the machine off Amazon because the ice was so fucking good. So I'm gonna go get it. It is like borderline concerning how big this is. Like, did I order like a fridge? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> well, it has to be really well protected, right? Also, I got a bunch of these jars that I pickle stuff in. They're called Weck jars they're literally the best they have all different shapes and sizes and they're really cute but i actually use them water glasses too okay anyways gonna open this bad boy okay here's the machine we're trying to figure out how to set it up but it's so cute i'll link this for you guys i got it off amazon so i'll link it Guys, the Best Buy was completely wiped. Like no, no Canon cameras, nothing. Is everyone becoming a vlogger? So I think we're gonna have to order it online and that this vlog is going to be an iPhone vlog. Moment of truth. Hey, that is so satisfying. This is a big moment for me. I just posted a TikTok vlog of um, the barn. Someone asked me what I was making for dinner tonight. And I was like, I don't know. I usually know. Like when I wake up, I'm normally like plotting what I'm gonna cook for dinner, but I don't know. Um, but I was FaceTiming my friend Remy and while I was eating my salad that I ordered for lunch. Oh, I didn't show you guys that. I ordered salad for lunch. Why is it so dark? She was like, you're literally eating arugula and I'm eating Chinese food. Like she was trolling me, but she inspired me. I think I'm gonna order Chinese food for dinner because I'm fucking exhausted, so. Also, I don't love cooking when I'm here by myself or like my mom's gonna leave. I like cooking for Tommy a lot and when I have friends over, but when it's just me, hi guys, to be honest, I have not ate like anything today. Um, I had a salad. That's it. It's not enough food. I feel really low energy. Um, so I ordered a big dinner for myself. I actually ordered Instacart because I was feeling too tired to go out to the market and I was being lazy. And I waited for like three hours and then I was like, why isn't Instacart being delivered? Wasn't confirmed or like it's for tomorrow or something. So I ended up ordering food. And guys, this restaurant in the town that I live in delivers like raw bar. I know that sounds sketchy, but it's like a really nice restaurant and they literally like deliver it on ice. And I ordered oysters. <laughs> oysters and shrimp cocktail it's like i mean that's insane but i was just like treating myself I was so hungry and then i ordered taquitos and spaghetti and meatballs i definitely like went a little bit overboard but i'm gonna eat all the food so i'm gonna save it and eat it tomorrow if i don't eat it today i've actually never gotten the spaghetti and meatballs from this place so, good. So if you didn't know this, half of my family on my dad's side is super Italian, which is funny because I did a DNA test and I'm like not very Italian. My great grandma spoke Italian. We have family in Italy. My grandparents are Italian on my dad's side. I was always really inspired by my great grandma. She made everything from scratch, like pastas from scratch, pasta sauce from scratch, like she would not buy store-bought jar sauce. Like that would be fucking jail. Like, but um, I just remember being like completely enamored by her growing up. And anyway, she was like my idol. And I just thought how cool it was, how she cooked everything from scratch. I, and then my parents don't really cook. She makes a few things really well, but she's not passionate 
about cooking by any means. She cooks to get the job done and to feed us, and she did that, and she's not a bad cook. She just doesn't like to cook and isn't, like, interested in cooking. Like, she was never trying new recipes or anything like that, um, or, like, like me, like I love to cook. Like it literally makes me happy and brings me joy. And like, I like making things from scratch, whatever. I cook a lot and I would say that I'm pretty good at cooking. And it's definitely like inspired by my grandma and my Nana. And then if I wanted really good food, I had to make it myself. So I don't know, I also just fucking loved it. Like I've always loved cooking. Most of the things that I make are Italian. Like, I don't know if you've noticed that, but I make a lot of pasta and a lot of pasta sauces and a lot of my salads are like kind of Italian. But the reason I'm even telling you guys this is like, I have a really hard time eating out unless it's like a really good Italian place. I would always rather have my own Italian cooked food. Like I'm a very harsh critic on Italian food because that's what I think I cook best. I'm probably the only person that you've ever seen order oysters to go on Uber Eats. Like, that's fucking insane. I would honestly just like go to the restaurant by myself, but I don't know. I used to eat out a lot in New York alone. Like I would happily go to dinner alone by myself. But for some reason here, I like don't eat out alone. I don't know why it feels like lonelier. My friend Amanda slept over last night and then left today. And she's coming back over tomorrow for dinner. So I'm excited we're gonna cook dinner tomorrow.